oh hey, come sit by the fire because I have a story to tell you. It's a story from long, long ago. It wasn't just a hundred years ago or a thousand years ago or even a billion years ago. It was more like 13 billion years ago. It was way before people lived. It was even before the dinosaurs. In fact, it was even before there was an earth. Now, if there's no earth, there were also no people to tell the story of what happened. So we don't really know exactly what happened, but scientists have studied and guessed and experimented. And this is the way they think things might have happened. In the beginning, there was only the nothingness of space. All was darkness and cold. Not dark like your room at night, or even like a cave. Even darker, and colder even than ice. Can you imagine such a cold, silent, empty space? Then... Suddenly, there was light. And everything that was to become our universe was in that giant explosion. But in the beginning, there were only tiny particles, a hot ball gas flinging out into space. Even then, even in the beginning, there were laws that had to be followed. One law said that smaller, lighter things would be pulled toward heavier things. Just like this eraser is pulled down to the earth, we call this law gravity. Another law is that when something revolved in a circle, it pulls away from the center and we call this law centrifugal force. Another law says that when things are moving, they will keep moving unless something stops them. And if something is still, it will stay still. We call this law inertia. All of the particles in the gas obeyed these laws. Then, as they moved through space, they separated into droplets like water flung from a glass. These giant droplets formed into galaxies. With these galaxies were millions of balls of hot gas, and as gravity pulled these balls inward more and more tightly, many of them burst into flame and became the stars. These stars were very far away from each other, so far away that it takes many years for the light from the stars to travel and reach us. Light travels very fast. It travels 186,000 miles, not per hour, but per second. If we could get in a race car, and drive at 100 miles per hour, it would take us 10 days and nights to go all the way around the earth. It takes light only a second. To go around the world seven times. And that's how fast light travels. Yet even moving that fast, it takes the light from the stars one million years to reach us. That's how far away they are. And there are billions of stars. If each star was a grain of sand, we could cover the state of Texas with a pile of sand that would be as tall as the length of three football fields. Out of all these millions of stars, there is one star that is special to us, and we call it the sun.
The sun may not seem very big when we look at it in the sky, but that is because it is so far away. If we flew toward the sun in a spaceship at 100 miles per hour, day in and day out, it would take us 106 years to get there. It is actually so big that one million Earths could fit inside the sun. In fact, if this were a picture of the sun, this little dot would be the Earth. In the beginning, the earth was not at all like it is now. It was a hot ball of gas, and so were all the planets. The balls of gas were not big enough or heavy enough to burst into flames like the sun, but they were very hot. However, they were also traveling through the coldness of space. And as the earth traveled, it cooled a little, and as it cooled, some of the particles really liked each other. And they formed new kinds of matter. Other particles didn't like each other. They stayed away from each other. And as the particles cooled, they began to change from gas to liquid to solid. The solids were very tightly put together and they kept their own shape. The liquids were much looser and rolled around on themselves. They take the shape of the container they are in. We can even pass our hand through them. Gases are even more spread out. In fact, we often can't see them, but they are there moving around the room. You just heard me spray just a puff of perfume. And if you were here, you would be able to smell it even though you cannot see it. When the gases cool, it becomes a liquid. And when the liquid cools, it becomes a solid. And this is just what happened as the earth moved through the coldness of space. The cold air pushed down on the earth like angels, bringing buckets of coldness on the hot earth. But once the gases were near the hot surface, they began to rise like these angels carrying with them buckets of heat away from the earth. It was almost like a dance with the heat moving upward and the cold coming down. So very slowly, the earth began to cool and one of the things that formed was water. In fact, all of the water that we have now was formed during this time. As soon as the water touched the earth, it turned back into a gas or vapor. In the coldness next to space, the water cooled and formed a cloud. Soon, a cloud of vapor covered the earth and blocked out the sunlight. The surface of the earth cooled even more and finally, became solid. But the boiling liquid rock beneath this crust still had to follow the laws of the universe. And one of these laws said that hot things had to move outward. So the melted rock burst through the skin of the earth, covering the surface of the earth with volcanoes.
Slowly, slowly, the water continued to come down and cool the earth. It rained for a million years, and the dance went on. The earth cooled more and more and more. Until, at last, the water stayed on the earth and it began to fill the low places. And these became the oceans. All of this happened billions of years ago. But even to this day, everything that exists follows the laws of the universe. And so it is that the earth was made and it is our gift to love and care for.